Boa noite, gentes. I hope you guys are doing well. I am going to be very brief. It is raining, muita chuva, na Florida. Uh, but what I want to talk to, I want to talk about the term mutually exclusive and how just because you like something else, that doesn't mean that you hate the other thing or you have to hate the other thing, right? Um, so uh, we've been hearing a lot of obviously talk and they're continuing to promote the rhetoric that, you know, men who are traveling overseas uh, to meet women or date uh, or, or marry, um, number one, the women are just a byproduct of the travel. A lot of us, we go over there because we love the culture. Anyway, um, some people feel like just because you prefer foreign women because of the qualities that we as most men who are going over there are traditional men, we want a woman that is more traditional or in line with with our, you know, with, with how we think and how we do things and, 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 and it's attractive to us, right? So that's why we go. And a lot of people feel like just because we go over there, that means that we automatically have to hate the women over here. And that's just not the case. What we're saying is that there are better dating options over there because they are more plentiful and they, they are reared or they are raised in a way that is more traditional as opposed to uh, how a lot of the Western women are raised and a lot of the Western women, how they think, how they do things, how they move. You know, just as women over here are uh, business owners and entrepreneurs or uh, have, you know, nice corporate jobs, you have the same thing, same things with the same women in those countries, but it's with the absence of the masculinity. So we have, so you go to Colombia and you have, uh, you go to Brazil or you go to uh, Costa Rica, or Dominican Republic, and you have women who are enterprising, who are ambitious, who are doing their own thing. But when they come home, they're fit, they're feminine, they're cooperative, and they're submissive. So they don't flaunt, even if they make more money than their men, they don't throw it in their face and try to belittle them and besmirch their character and, and, and make them feel less than. They love their husbands. They just happen to be in a position or, or in a career that is a little bit more lucrative than what, what he may be doing. And that's not always the case, but that is the that is the norm more than anything in, in those countries. So just because, um, and, 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 and this is the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm making this video. So I was uh, at work today and I, I saw this video about this, this black sister, she was, you know, she had her weave flowing and saying, oh, you know, you guys are going over there, but just wait until I go to Brazil and I go on the beach and, and you know, you guys just wait until all of the men see me. And I'm thinking to myself, clearly you've never been to Brazil, let alone out of the country, because if you had, you'd understand how stiff the competition is. And she wasn't a bad looking person by any of the stretch of the imagination, but she wasn't a brasileira. And if uh, any of you have ever gone to uh, Brazil or any Latin country, uh, for that matter, if you saw the video that I'm referring to with the sister that were, was comparing herself with them saying how when you go when she goes over there, she's just going to basically turn all of the heads, you understand that she's clearly delusional or high because um, that simply is not the case. And so understand this, just because we like foreign women doesn't mean we hate them. Just because I love Brazil doesn't mean I hate the country of America. If so, then something's wrong with me because I'm the American Brazilian. I'm an American who loves Brazil, I'm not an American who hates Brazil. If I was an American who hated Brazil, I wouldn't have put a tattoo of the American flag on my arm. They're better dodge, right? So understand that. When you hear these arguments of people for no reason, and then why should you even care? Let's just say for the, just for the why should you even care? When, when you guys go to Jamaica, to Mocha Fest or whatever it is, or when you date outside, nobody cares, who cares? We're saying, hey, we wanna champion you. If that's what makes you happy, go for it. We're gonna be, your, you know, we're gonna be behind you. We're gonna go support you if that's what makes you happy. But as men, sometimes we can't get that same support. But you know what? We have to forget. We have to. We have to 
move as though we don't even need it because we really don't. The only support that you'll get is from people like you. And that's just the truth. So again, 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 just because I love Brazil doesn't mean I hate America. Just because I'm with a foreign woman doesn't mean I hate America. And if you feel like in order to love one, I have to hate the other one, then, you know, don't touch anything sharp. Don't pick up anything sharp because you're going to hurt yourself. So, yeah, um, you know, I don't make videos all the time. I try to do maybe one, twice a week. But whenever I make something, I try to do something that I think is significant to me or significant to the movement. And of course, with everything that's been going on, you know, uh, in the whole pat with the whole passport community, it's just seemed like people are just continuing to come out of the woodworks with these these belittling videos, which when you really think about it, their argument is, is, is more so just a, a moot point because um, they're not accomplishing anything but making themselves look desperate. And so, again, what you're seeing now is um, the calm before the storm. And that storm is how can we attract the men back? And I think that's going to be a whole nother, <laughs> whole nother argument and a whole nother struggle in and of itself because we as men, for the most part, we're loyal to success. In other words, once we find success in something in anything and I think maybe it's just human nature on a whole when you find when you find when you find out or discover what you're doing is I'll say producing fruit it doesn't make you want to stop what does it make you want to do it makes you want to go that much harder that much further that much deeper put that much effort into whatever it is that thing that you're doing that is producing fruit so in other words fruit fuels ambition it it, it increases your ability to to to, to get more and uh, and it makes you happy, and it real and make it causes you to realize that hey, there is success in what I'm doing, so I'm going to continue to do it. So it's going to be hard to come back from that because so many brothers are going overseas finding success, and I'm not just talking about dating; I'm talking about an overall quality of life. And I think that message, more importantly than anything, is lost in all of this hoopla. Listen, nobody cares because you make videos saying that people that go overseas to, to, to date, which that's just the byproduct, or marry, uh, we're desperate, we're losers, we're simps. If that's the case, then just let us do us. But that's too much like doing right. And sometimes people have to, for whatever reason, feel like they need to be provocative. But anyway, I'm gonna jump off here and uh, I want you guys to uh, uh, have a uh, a good night. Ten you boy Noichi, have a good night. And uh, follow conversation my stars. I'll talk to you guys later. This is your man Larry, American Brazilian, saying no deal is your door. No deal is your. Have a nice.